Ask Red Advice by Seamoose Juice. What's worse than being ugly? Don't really know but I'm sure I've got it covered. You could be stupid and ugly. I once heard some dude say, nobody should be allowed to be an asshole, ugly and poor. Pick two, at most. Well, sometimes you don't get to pick one of those, you're born that way. And then sometimes you're just ugly. Throat cancer. Enjoy every sandwich. Warren Zevon, as he was dying of throat cancer. Being dumb and ugly ask me how I know. I think ugly and being an asshole is worse. Smelly. I worked with someone who suffered from this. HTTPS colon slash slash my dot Cleveland Clinic dot org slash health slash diseases slash 22356 dash trimethylaminuria dash fish dash odor dash syndrome. It was bad, and hard to be around her. I felt bad for her. Last I knew, she was still trying to find ways to make it not so bad. Being poor and ugly with a lack of social skills. Acca the formula to die single. UHH, high five. Being terminally ill. Terminal cancer patient here. Can confirm I would rather be but ugly and healthy. Then chronically ill or disabled I think. The healthy man wishes for a thousand things, the sick man only wishes for one. Paralyzed. I got a glimpse of what being paralyzed is like a couple of years ago after a bad back injury. Luckily I've almost completely recovered. I still have some pain but I'm mostly fine these days. I'm 27 so it takes a little bit more to bring me down than someone older. The experience taught me two main things. 1. Healthcare in the US is an absolute disaster that will torpedo your life if your serious injury illness doesn't, unless you're a millionaire. Most people have no control over this. 2. If you want to go travel someday, you should really do it sooner than later. Fuck money. Obviously you need money, but why give yourself to it entirely for a future that is far from promise to you? Being a shitty person. I mean, it's worse for the people around you. But there's plenty of shitty people that seem to be living amazing lives, totally unimpeded by all that pesky empathy the rest of us are carrying around. Feeling ugly. Edit, hey, thanks. Hopefully you don't feel ugly, but know that I understand. Man this is literally me. I don't know if this is the best way to explain it but people tell me that I look handsome and whatever but I've never had anyone show me that they think that. Maybe I'm just being pathetic but that definitely makes me feel pretty ugly. Feeling hated by the person you love most. Edit, just want to say thank you to everyone that's reached out to me via chat messages and amp, left comments on ways to cope. I truly appreciate it all and amp, I will look into ways to help myself. Wow. Few comments hit me as stringly as this one. I wish you the best OP. Defending the existence of blinding headlights. I hate these bright headlights. There's this one road on my way home that's really curvy and doesn't have street lights, and I sometimes can't even see where the road curves because the car coming the other way around the curve has their brights on. It's stupidly dangerous. Having a chronic disease. Reading of comments. I'm go with being like OP. Holy shit, OP is a massive jackass. Being uncontrollably stupid, but smart enough to realize it in retrospect. Sadly I'm both. Losing the love of your life, then realizing you will never find anyone capable of replacing them, and you shall remain alone for the rest of your life. My K died about 10 years ago. I'm not alone but for sure that kind of love is not replaceable.
Being ugly and damp. Poor. Being poor. Being ugly inside. Actually that's just worse for other people. For the ugly on the inside person subjectively it doesn't matter cause they are consciously being an asshole and if they didn't wanna be one they wouldn't be. The significant loss of hearing from a young age. As I get older, the more I conclude that communication is the single most important human ability and amp, that being hard of hearing stunts people from living their best lives. Lacking the ability to communicate effectively can often be seen as having zero personality or being incredibly shy. Socially, it's harder to make friends, it's harder to learn as significant learning is done vocally and damp. Most schools are underfunded, forget going to clubs or loud events like concerts and amp, no one wants to date a deaf bloke. Government and amp, its institutions have no sympathy for us. Employers see us as burdens and amp, for the average person, it's not easy to identify that an individual can't hear, I've had individuals grab me, accusing me of being rude when I don't listen to them when I don't hear them, but they don't care. Since the pandemic, culture has shifted to remote working, remote learning, and telecommunication being pushed, which will generally make life harder for hard of hearing individuals. However, society values the needs of the many above those of the few. Giving up on yourself. I was commenting with a guy on here that just accepted that he was a pathetic incel and accepting that is a self-fulfilling prophecy that only leads to misery. Being stupid. Being pretty and embracing it as your entire personality. Having a bad personality. People's personalities seem to radiate through their skin for me. Amazing people that I didn't immediately find attractive suddenly seem more beautiful and objectively attractive people with awful personalities appear ugly. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Being hateful. That's what has led us to this shitty world we've been living in for the last couple of years. Being socially unaware awkward. Being ugly, poor, ill, dumb and socially awkward for the win. Being ugly and conceited.